Breaking news in Britain today as Michael Gove clamps down on the internal combustion engine by 2040. What a rotter! Oh, actually, these are blank. We're not prepared in any way. But we wanted to talk to you about it and get your thoughts as well. Rich? Indeed. What's going on? Well, it's passing the buck, in my opinion. OK. Um, if you think about it, most of the government that are currently in power by 2040, they're not going to be around anymore. So it's somebody else's problem. Let me just clarify that um, in Britain today, it was announced actually last night yeah. um, that, that there is this situation around air pollution um, and how many deaths it causes each year. Um, and the government have been threatening to do this kind of new law for quite a while now, but they finally come out and said that you won't be able to buy a brand new petrol or diesel. As you can imagine, the public has its own opinions. We have our own opinions. Um, I felt really positive. Um, my wife works in renewable energy and um, of course we're on the side, you know, ultimately we're running out of fossil fuels. Yeah, absolutely. And I would much prefer the remaining fossil fuels that are left to be used on classics like E-types and GT40s and... Preserving the history of the car. Yeah, preserving the motoring history. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the, the electric motor is actually a really efficient way of propelling a car. Um, it's got one moving part, so your yeah. service bills are going to plummet for a start. And the amount of torque you get off an electric motor is incredible, which is why trains use them. It takes balls to come out with a statement like this. No, oh, it does completely. And, you know, to, to make this. I mean, France have already done something similar to this, I yeah, think. Yeah, they announced it, what, about a month ago? So we're kind of following hot on the heels of, of a current trend. But fair play. It needed to happen at some point. It was going to happen. But we'd love to know your thoughts. Um, if you've got anything to contribute, let us know how, you, how you're feeling. You know, but let's let's get away from the politics. Indeed. For a second. Indeed. Because we're going to try and make this a weekly thing if we can. We want to talk about cars. Who doesn't like that? Hello. Of course, there's been a lot of hype around this car. Um, a few celebrities mm. have bought them. We all know what it is. What is it? It's a GT. It's the new Ford GT. I really like the look of this car. It's 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 amazing looking. Look at it. Look at it. I know. Look at it. Do you know what's really funny is it has the looks of a hypercar. It really does, doesn't it? But it's not really a hypercar. No. If you think about... Well, the maybe... engine's too small for a start. Exactly. What's she got under there, do you know? She's got a uh, six-cylinder. Three and a half litre. Yeah. And it's an EcoBoost. It's supercharged. Supercharged EcoBoost. Yeah. And let's have a look. We've got another shot here. Ah. Uh, uh... Now, we have... we're slightly on the fence about this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the profile, actually. Now... Rich's issue is the fact we think it, well, it's pouting. It is pouting. It's a pouty little thing. It's Look at it. a little bit. Um, I kind of like the back end. That's all right. You see, I, my issue is with the back. Really? Because I think where the bodywork sort of becomes flatter over that back wheel, it almost looks too long for it being uh, flat. I see what you mean, it, yeah. I don't know whether the curve of the roof needs to go. I mean, obviously, this car is purely designed for aerodynamics. Indeed. I mean, they've inched every available yeah. amount of power and um, efficiency and I mean, everything. Look at that vent coming along the bottom of the door there. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I, I like the door in profile. That's cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll have one of those. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have two. One, one each. each. One each. One each. Ford, if you're listening, you know. That'll be great. Now, our third item of the day is a new car that's coming out, and I've got a bit of a soft spot for the manufacturer because I think they're a little bit of an unsung hero in the motoring world sometimes, and that's Seat. Oh, of course, you had a Seat. You I had did. two, didn't you? Uh, I've had two. I've had two Ibithas. I have a car buying problem. <laughs> you know. So what do we think of this? Let's have a look at this one. Well, it's a handsome thing. Yeah, this, this is the new Seat Arona. Ooh, my Arona. My Arona. My Arona. I mean, their design team, in my opinion, I think that looks great. It looks superb. You know, I think it's a cracking wheel car. The wheels are great, the headlamps are great, and this is actually kind of continuing in the style that Seat have adopted recently with the Leon and with the new Ibiza, which incidentally, the new Ibiza looks amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Um, and this, of course, is in the FR trim, which is uh, the top line of the, of the normal range of Seats. Of course, then Seat go on to make the Cupra version, which has more vents and higher horsepower and all that sort of stuff. Mm. But yeah, we're excited about that. Yeah, that looks good. 
So if you want motoring news, come to us, because we're the only people doing it. We are, and we're going to show you cars. Well, this one's very new. The Ford GT's, OK, six months old, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter <laughs> at all. We still like looking at it. I'm going to go back, because I like it so much. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that's so... Oh. So... Anyway. And then we ruin it by doing this shot. Oh! No! It's not that bad, really. We're picking. It's fine. We're nitpicking. And I bet in 3D, in real life, in front of you, that looks better than it does on a flat 2D photograph. So, Because yeah. you're losing a lot of the curves on the 2D. Um, and we can afford to be picky because we're not buying one. So no, we're absolutely. Like. So anyway, we care about what you think. Please feel free to comment or subscribe or yeah, like, do whatever you like. Let's get some discussions day. going you know, on be... the day's events of the news. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week sometime. But for now, uh, Rich... Do you fancy a double espresso? <gasps> Frothy. I thought you might. Mm.